This is a calibration, audiometer calibration system that was made for a client in South Africa. One of our clients. Uh, the challenge was to try and get a full diagnostic audiometer calibration system with mastoid calibration, artificial ear, 7-Eleven coupler, insert for insert phones, a, a timp calibration functionality. So this is a full diagnostic system and to get it all to fit into a flight case that is of the maximum dimensions allowed by the FAA for cabin transportation. So you are allowed to take this size according to the FAA into the cabin, this cabin luggage. Uh, those who do audiometer calibrations will appreciate that it's quite a challenge to get this into a relatively small case. Let me consider that previously one of the things you would have to carry with you is the bulky ruling here, which really is almost half the volume. Right, just to fly through this demonstration rather quickly, let's show you some of the features. In order to save space, one of the really nice features we've come up with is there's not really much space in here for a tripod for doing the free field calibrations. So we've come up with this little device here, which is a aluminium base plate, which is integrated into the case. It actually fits really nicely because the bone sort of merge with the case. You remove that, it has two sides. It has a side for use on carpet which has rather sharp spikes on it, which you press down into a carpet and will really keep it stable. However, if perhaps you have a tiled surface or a smoother surface, you can put it on the sledge over here and it will really be quite stable. If we open up the system, I'll just quickly show you how everything is stored in here. This would be your monopole, which screws into the base plate. Again, your preference which way around you want to put the base plate and which way you want to orientate your microphone. But this is relatively easy to adjust the design height. We'll get over one meter in height, typically ear level of the seated person. That's what's just one part of it I want to show you. We did this rather clever little way of storing the mastoid right at the bottom of the case on the wheelie side. It's a heavy object uh, that's rather easy to remove from there. Our spring is stored in there. Our height adjustment measuring device is stored like that. So that's the mastoid. Um, the artificial ear is rather easy to pull out. Of course, ensure that is screwed in properly, but it goes in even with its preamplifier screwed in permanently. Let me just lower it back in there nicely. Sound level meter is fine. This is an ACM 800 locally developed. It's the power module, 200 volt supply, etc. And the circum aural plate is stored underneath that. For those people requiring that on the artificial ear. All our cables, free field calibration cable, the 5 meter cable is stored there. The mastoid cable is stored there with its adapter. The short cable and various cables are there. And some uh, piping for the manometer. And uh, just to run through this quickly, our 7-Eleven coupler is stored over there with the free field microphone. Our TIMP coupler for the TIMP calibration of ipsilateral uh, measurements is there. Nice set of additional batteries stored over there. Some additional backup batteries stored there. For These are for this device and for the calibrator, which is also conveniently stored out of the way there. So I think you'll agree we've managed to squash quite a bit into this case and we hope that our client will be very happy with us and we hope you'll find it practical and uh, an improvement on what went 
previously had to lug around to do this sort of work. So I just finish off by packing that away. This is really easy to do. Starts pointing inwards. Oh, so we might run into problems with people. And in fact, what we do is place this suitcase down like this and we align it with those squares like that. And there we go. All ready to go. Thank you. That's the end of it.